This theory explains the universe as a continuum, a continuous process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. The driving force for this process is the spontaneous absorption and emission of light. This might sound odd, but if we look at these images from the International Space Station, we can see that the candle flame in near-zero gravity naturally forms a sphere. The candle flame is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic radiation or light continuously. This is because the universe is never at absolute zero. We have a process of continuous creation with time as an emergent property with the future coming into existence photon by photon relative to the position and the energy and momentum or actions of the atoms within each individual reference frame. We see and feel this process from the centre of our own reference frame as the continuum of time and we are an interactive part of this process with the wave-particle duality of light acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer forming a blank canvas that we can interact with turning the possible into the actual. Light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent so we have a process that forms an infinite number of reference frames that are continuously coming in and out of existence. Each reference frame has its own timeline from the past into the future with the future unfolding light photon by light photon with each new photon oscillation or vibration. One of the great problems in understanding the nature of reality is understanding consciousness and how the concept of mind interacts with the objective world of our everyday life. This theory gets around this problem by explaining consciousness as electrical activity that is aware of its own electrical potential. This is possible because the light photon is the carrier of the electromagnetic force. Therefore electrical activity in the brain is always in the centre of its own reference frame, in the moment of now, with a potential future that is always uncertain, with a past that has gone forever as part of this continuous energy exchange forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. It is because consciousness is always in the centre of its own reference frame that we have the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own personal view of the universe. There are no paradoxes in this theory. We are in the centre of our own reference frame, being able to look back in time, in every direction, at the beauty of the stars. We can also look down into individual reference frames, seeing the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the energy and momentum of that reference frame. The greatest effect this process of continuous energy exchange has on us is the aging process, with photon energy from the sun cascading down, forming greater degrees of freedom for the continuous increase in entropy or disorganization. But above all, this is a creative process with the future coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum or actions of each individual life form. I believe this is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of the artist. This creativity is innate within the process itself, for nothing has lower entropy or greater organization than a sphere. And when the spherical symmetry is broken, it forms the most beautiful of all geometrical shapes, the spiral. Therefore we see the Fibonacci spiral almost everywhere in nature, not because of economy of growth, but because of a process of symmetry forming and breaking. For it is madness to think that the geometry and diversity of cell life could form out of chaos and uncertainty. But it is logical that such geometry and diversity could form with the formation of chaos and uncertainty out of the freedom of a process of symmetry forming and breaking. I believe the day will come when this theory will be seen as the physics of time as a physical process. 
with the mathematics of quantum mechanics representing the dynamic geometry of a physical process that we see and feel as a continuum of time, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. This process of continuous change, or energy exchange, we see and feel as the flow of time itself that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. This process is totally universal and interactive, from the largest object to the smallest creature, right down to the smallest element of the periodic table, will slow the rate that time flows, forming a curvature of space-time, relative to its own energy or mass. In this theory, the elements of the periodic table are standing waves over a period of time. Our future is always uncertain because of a continuous interaction or absorption emission of light. The future is unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment, forming the probability function or quantum wave particle function that is explained mathematically by Schrodinger's wave equation. At the smallest level of this process, this uncertainty is seen as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the dynamics of space and time. Please subscribe on YouTube and be part of the promotion of this theory.